Today, what we'll be making is a protein bar, a homemade protein bar. This is not anything added with any type of supplements or protein powder or any type of whey protein. What we'll be doing, we previously heated almond butter, which is our protein, and honey. And we heated it here, and it's gotten kind of um, thickened up. So what I'm gonna add is some hot water here. Just to loosen it up a little bit. So this almond butter is freshly grinded from real almonds, unsalted almonds. And you can see it loose now, but in a few minutes, this will really thicken up. As you can see, here has already done it. So I'm gonna add this here to our bowl. Now, this is what was really going to gel our protein bar. So, we want to get as much of it out as possible. I've added a, a half. Actually, I did a whole cup of almond butter, and I did a half a cup of honey. So, the rest of our ingredients, we have toasted oats, which I put on the oven on a low temperature just to get the brown and golden look. So we're gonna add these next. And here we have um, granola. This is a all natural organic granola with a chocolate flavor to it. And we now have the oats, the granola, and the almond butter here. And we have different types of nuts here. We have almonds, cashews, walnuts, freshly grinded and unsalted. So now, you can see we previously have these mixtures here. And for our last two, which are gonna add a sweetener, more of a little sweetener, we have a dark chocolate superfood here, also with coconuts, okay? These are two superfoods, along with the rest, with the oats and nuts. And we have our raisins, all right? Raisins are always good, a good sweetener. And we're now gonna mix. As you can see, it's already starting to gel together. Make sure we get all of it in there. All right, guys, we also have one of the best superfoods in here is an all natural honey. And as you can see, it's starting to bind together a little more. So what we can do is add a little bit more honey. Now honey, even though it's a natural ingredient, it's a natural source you don't want to add too much honey because it is high in sugar so add just enough to make it gel just a little bit more so I'm gonna add just a little bit in here so look as I have a flat baking pan and I'm not gonna actually put this in the oven it's just here and I have a foil here you also can use a a plastic type of a wrap or a cooking um, what do you call it a cooking sheet and we're going to add all of this here and we're going to then flatten it out and then cut it into pieces so that we can make our bars so from uh, last night we finally got to get these wonderful protein bars out of the refrigerator and as you can see after pressing it down with aluminum foil it's a flat surface it's it's uh, gelled very good together so now what I'm gonna do is cut these um, bars so that we can have them just like you would get them out of the store You guys have the option to cut them how you want. Small, small slices, I'm gonna do them pretty, not thick, but a good portion size so they can last. Now what you guys can also do, if you make these, 
you can actually make them and then put them in the freezer so you can make a bigger batch and make them so they can last a little bit longer so you don't have to cook them all the time but uh, I kind of like mine fresh so I'll take the time out to do it this way and now what you guys can do is actually put these in foil or plastic bags and you can have these as a snack. Guys, this is a great way to get a natural protein source if you need a filling or if your body feels empty from natural resources. Guys, so remember to subscribe, subscribe to the YouTube, the link below, and we'll see you guys next time.